Today we're going to talk about a topic, while difficult, is crucial for business partners to address. We'll be talking about what happens to the business when a business partner passes away. Now losing a business partner is undoubtedly a devastating event, both personally and professionally. But hopefully you will have already considered the consequences and have planned accordingly in the event this type of tragedy occurs. I'll walk you through a couple scenarios where scene one, business partner took the precautions to plan and scene two, business partners didn't have a plan. And to be specific by plan, I mean a roadmap of a plan of what to do in the event of a sudden death of a business partner. So scene one, no plan. Two friends joined heads, formed a business 50-50. Business is a hit, doing great, and suddenly one of the partner passes away. If the deceased partner has a spouse, the business shares are then transferred to the spouse, who essentially now, the other 50% business owner, with voting shares in the business. Spouse at that time is probably grieving, obviously, and has no interest or capacity to help with the business. And now has these shares, which by the way, has by now accrued a capital gain. So what are the options? The surviving business partner can buy the shares back from the spouse, but since the value of the business has grown, the business partner doesn't have that cash flow to do so. Another option is that the business can redeem the shares back from the spouse, but that also requires the business to have liquidity and cash to do so. So at this point, we have a surviving business partner stuck with a surviving spouse, who, by the way, they might not get along. So what does it look like with the plan? Take the same facts we just discussed, but this time, business partners have pre-planned and documented in its shareholders agreement the terms upon death and has a funding mechanism in place, that is insurance. So if the plan is for a surviving business partner to buy the shares back from the surviving spouse or in absence of a spouse, the estate, both shareholders may want to purchase a life insurance policy on each other so that the company has the funds to do so. The surviving spouse or the estate will then have the funds and not be stuck with shares of company they are not interested in operating. To take it a step further, the business may want to have key man insurance so that the company has funds to hire and replace and keep its operations running. Open and transparent communication is key during this difficult time. Keep your team, clients, stakeholders all informed about the changes in the business. Reassure them about the continuity of the operations and any adjustments that may occur. Thanks again for watching. I hope you don't find yourself in this situation. And if you don't already have a plan, now is a good time to create one.